before we get started, um, a few things we're going to need to know. Basically, for most of the things when we get started on all the components on this project, there's three main tools you're going to need for basically to get started on everything, right? So that's going to be a pencil, need a nice sharp pencil, rule, steel rule, 300 mil, that'll do, and a tri-square. And that'll basically help us get started. Okay, so guys, make sure you've got your set of drawings with you. In this set of drawings, you've got basically everything you need for every part. It's got all the dimensions you're going to need, so make sure you're referencing this throughout. Um, what we're making here is, we need to make this piece of timber here. Your teacher's going to give you a long length. Might not be exactly what you need, might be a bit longer. But what we need to get out of that is two pieces. So this times two. Your timber's going to be 140 wide and 19 millimetres thick. 140 wide, 19 mil thick. You're going to need to cut two pieces at 400 millimetres long. So to do that, your teacher's going to give you a piece of timber. It's going to look like this. Pretty similar to this. Piece of radiator pine, 140 millimetres wide, 19 millimetres thick. First thing when you get a piece of timber like this, we don't know that this edge here is square. And by square, I mean from here to here is 90 degrees. We're not sure if that's going to be 90 degrees or not. So we, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that it's 90 degrees. Because it could come from the mill, could be a bit crooked, could have been cut at a bit of an angle, we're not sure. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with our tri-square. Just as close as we can to that line, we're going to use a tri-square to square a line right down the edge, okay? And we can sand to that later. Then the next thing we're going to do is from that line, you're going to use your rule to measure 400 millimeters past that, okay? So 400 millimeters square a line. So now we know that between that line there and that line there is exactly 400 millimeters. So we don't want to just go with the tenon saw and cut straight on that line. The reason being is the tenon saw, when you make a cut, it's going to leave a cut width of about one and a half mil, maybe a little bit over. Um, and that means if we measure our next 400 millimeter piece off that line, the next piece is going to be a mil and a half short. And if we were to do another one, it would be three millimeters short and another one, it would be four and a half millimeters short, so on and so forth, okay? So what we're gonna do is, and this is what you're gonna need to do for every piece that you make, is called doing train tracks, or footy posts, or you can call them what you want, just don't call them late for dinner. Um, basically what we're gonna do is square another line next to it at a distance of six millimeters, okay? Six millimeters gives you a good gap where you can cut right in between those two lines with the tenon saw, and then you can go to the disc sander later, sand right down to the line. So, we know from this line here to there is 400. Next thing we got to do is from that second line, we want to measure another, you guessed it, 400 millimeters, right? And another set of train tracks. So, then the, all, all, the only cuts we're going to make, we're going to be making two cuts, one in between these two train tracks one in between those two train tracks. Then we'll have two pieces at 400 mil. We can take them to the disc sander, sand them down to the lines, and they should be perfectly identical. Let's go over the tools and see how we're gonna mark those out. All right, so I'm over at the workbench now. I've got my piece of timber, pencil, rule, tri-square. That's all we're gonna need to mark this out so far. It's pretty simple to start. Couple rules with the tri-square. The two, I guess you could say, components of the tri-square. We have here, this long steel part. It's called the blade, right? And this part here is called the stock. Stock, blade. Now, super important when we're marking out with a tri-square that the stock part here, the stock stays right up against your piece of timber. When we're marking, you need to make sure that it's right up against the edge. So if you catch your mate and they're trying to mark it out and they've got the tri-square like this and the stock isn't up against the edge, if there's a gap there, don't give them a quick clip behind the ear and say, oh mate, get your body, get your stock up against the edge, will ya? I'll show you how it works up close. Really important in this, make sure you've got a sharp pencil. So many kids getting around with blunt pencils that have been rolling around in their backpack for God knows how long. They get blunt, they're all chewed up. Make sure you've got a sharpener in your room somewhere. Keep it nice and sharp. You'll get nice crisp lines. Otherwise, if you've got a blunt pencil, your pencil lines are gonna be a lot thicker. Your work's not gonna be very accurate, okay? So, really important, sharp pencil. Now, I'll bring you down here so you can see what we're working on. Here we are with our piece of timber. Like I was saying earlier at the whiteboard, we need to make sure that our edge here is perfectly 90 degrees. If we were to just use that edge and it wasn't 90 degrees, we're gonna run into all sorts of problems later. Um, so we need to make sure we check that. Now, with the tri-square, again, make sure the stock is up against your edge of your timber. It takes a little bit of getting used to do, but you're gonna to wanna to practice sort of having three or four of your fingers on the stock and then one resting on the blade, or two resting on the blade, and you can sort of get used to this motion of just having it resting against, sliding it back and forth, so it's nice and easy to make square marks. So, we're gonna check here. Luckily, 
The bloke who's working at the mill has done a good job. He's given us a nice 90 degree corner, as you can see there. So, but let's just say he hasn't. Let's say it's a little bit crooked. What we would do in that case is we would bring the tri-square about there, nice sharp pencil, and we would just strike a line across the end there. And that, that line is what we're gonna reference when we're putting our measurements in. Like I said earlier, we need to make a piece 400 millimeters past that line. So what we're gonna do is slide the rule right up so zero is resting on that pencil line, okay? Now, problem, our rule is not 400 millimeters long. It only goes to 300 as you can see here. So what we're gonna need to do is make a little mark at 300. Gotta do some quick maths. 300, how do we get to 400? Add an extra 100 millimeters. 100 millimeters there. Now, I'll slide this across so we can see. So 300 to 100 equals 400. Then remember we were talking about the train tracks. So while we're here, while we're at 100, it's easy to just add an extra six millimeters by making a mark at 106. So we can see there, we've got two marks. That's gonna be our train tracks. So same as before, we need to use our tri-square. We're gonna make sure that the stock is right up against the edge. Then what I like to do is, I like to get my pencil, press it down right on that line that I've made and then slowly slide the tri-square up to it until it just touches. Then I can take it off, hold the tri-square in position and strike my line like that. Then what I'm gonna do is put my pencil on the next line, slide it across, make sure my stock is right up against the edge of the timber and strike my next line. So we can see there, we got our train tracks. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, we're gonna to wanna to flip the piece of timber on its edge, like that, so we can put the tri-square up against, on the edge like this, and we can actually strike these lines down the edges. Now this is a little bit tricky, it's gonna take some getting used to, because you're not used to handling a tri-square yet, but see how I've done that? I've got my two lines along the face, and I've got my two lines down the edge. We're gonna to wanna to do that on both edges, okay? Like that, and, oops, like that. Stock was against the edge the whole time. We can see that we've got train tracks all the way around. Now, this, these ones we've just done on the edge aren't super necessary for getting started, but they're gonna come in handy later to make sure that we're cutting straight down that line. Next thing we need to do is mark out our next piece. You guessed it, we need the pencil and the rule. We're gonna slide our workpiece across. We're gonna line the rule up with the second line on the train tracks. Make a quick little mark at 300, quick maths. 300 plus 100 is 400. And then another six millimeters for your train tracks. Same deal, tri-square, check your mate, make sure they're putting the stock right up against the edge. Pencil on the line, square it across. Pencil on your line, square it across, okay? And then, can't finish without doing it down the edges as well. Just like that, and just like that. Same deal on the other side. Just like that, and that, okay? So, now we've got our piece of timber, it's all marked out. You can see we've got our line squared there. We've got our train tracks squared down the edge, both sides, squared down the edge, both sides, so we know that that piece here and that piece here, 400 millimeters. Now, let's go learn how to cut.